I always found out something new, man. All right? So you got to constantly keep reading. All right? That constant fight, that constant desire, you know, that discipline, you know? Is it going to be a fight? It's definitely going to be a fight, you know? Because what? Your flesh is going to constantly say, no, you don't feel like doing that. You don't feel like, hey, I didn't, hey, just to give you an example, I didn't feel like doing the video. I didn't feel like doing this video, you know? But the spirit compelled me. This, the, 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 the word, uh, like uh, Jeremiah said, what? Uh, the word, the word was a, a fire shut in my bones, roughly paraphrasing, that I couldn't withstand it, you know? I probably wouldn't have got no sleep all, all night if I had did this video, you know? All, it's all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yashad that gave me the strength to do it, you know? But my flesh was telling me, uh, uh, right before I, um, Right before I cut the video on, it's like, man, you don't feel like doing this. Just go ahead, go lay down. It's four o'clock in the morning. Just do it in the morning, you know. But I use scriptures to cut that demon, man. And I said, what? Put off not the put not off the Lord day to day, you know. And then I sat down and did the, and I'm doing the video as we speak, you know. And Lord willing, I hope that you brothers are following me and, and this is edifying, you know. I, I'm not, I don't try to be, you know, everywhere, but Lord willing, this video is edifying, edifying for you brothers, but. Anyways, yeah, that, that desire, that that discipline, you know, where you have to put, matter of fact, Paul said it best. This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 27. It says, But I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. All right? See? You know, he put his body under subjection, man. All right? Oh, man, my body don't feel like doing this. I was like, hey, no, but we're going to do it. You know? And my feet hurt. I don't feel like going out to the uh, highways and byways. But guess what? We're going to go. You know, that's that discipline. And that's the also that's ultimately that love. You know, you're showing that, hey, no matter what. And that's the, also you're giving your body up as a living sacrifice. OK. Because your mind is going to come against you it's, it's seven different ways. You know. It's going to try to make so many excuses in, in the world. But it says what? A wicked man make an excuse. Uh, Slacky, I don't want to butcher that one. A sinful man, like this is a uh, Sirach thirty-two and seventeen. Is a sinful man will be not reproved, but findeth an excuse according to his will. See, you know, now is it up to you to um? How can I say uh follow that excuse or not? You know, hey, remember uh the supper where Yahweh bid men to go bring uh other men to the supper, and they had what? They had all type of excuses in the world. Oh, I just got married. Oh, I just bought a plot of land. Oh, my parents died. This, that. You know, they made all type of excuses. Hey, the brothers in Chicago should know this one. It was a one guy who came on the hotline and he said, um, he said, let him go make, I forgot how much money it was. If, if, if a brother from Chicago see this video, they can correct me. I forgot how much money is. I think he said, um, let me make uh, uh, $50,000, then I'm going to come and join the camp, you know? And that was what? Then eight eight years ago, nine years ago, something like that. You know, so he, you know, it's, it's just it's, it's constant excuse after excuse after excuse after excuse. You know, it's to the point where now, if you know, if 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 a person come up, listen, they can stay the whole count. That 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 really doesn't doesn't that doesn't really phase me. You know, it did at first. You know, oh man, he stayed the whole count. You know, that that's good. That was cool. You know, hopefully I see him next week, and it never come. Or guys, they'll pop up and say, hey, what time y'all be here? We hear every Friday, such, 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 such. All right, I'm going to come back next week. Never pops up. Never comes. You know? Those are the excuses, man. You know? And that ultimately shows you what? They don't have that love. They don't have that discipline. And they don't have the desire. You know? So ultimately what? The wisdom has rejected them. 
All right, because it talks about the ones of Masalim how how it, it rejected it, it uh, she she were she were fine. Cause she just doesn't make herself known to anybody. Uh, verse. Uh, let's go up to verse sixteen. It says for. Verse sixteen. It says for she goeth about seeking such as are worthy of her, showing herself favorable unto them in the way, and meeteth them in every thought. All right. So it shows you what she goes to see that she is talking about wisdom. She goes to see. Of them that are worthy of her, all right. She's not gonna make herself known unto any other person, cause guess what? That's that's actually the respectable way of a woman. You know, a woman doesn't just give her time to anybody. You know, really, to be honest, she gives her time all to her husband. Okay, she gives her complete time all to her husband if she's married. You know, but if you want to do a modern, if you want to do a modern, you know. Um. Damn, I was thinking of scripture slacking. Um, it slipped my mind. But anyways, um, yeah, she's not just gonna come on. So these people that comes and say, "Oh yeah, well I'll come back next week," or "I'll they're really, they're, they're really, and when they don't, that's just really the wisdom rejecting them. They're not worthy of her, because it says what? Um, I ain't gonna quote. Let me go ahead and get it. There it is right here. Wisdom of Solomon 1 and 4 says, for, a, for into a malicious soul, wisdom shall not enter, nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin. See, and then go back to that word subject, man. All right? If you're subjecting your body unto sin, then guess what? Wisdom will not dwell in you. All right? And if you did eventually, get, if you did get the wisdom, and then you're falling into that sin and you're getting and you're being subject into sin and you're having and you're having a malicious soul. Then guess what? The Lord will take that wisdom away from you. All right. He will take it away from you and give it to one that is profitable. All right. But what we just, we're trying to keep our body under subjection, under wisdom and knowledge and understanding. That's what we're trying to keep our body under subjection of, not under subjection of under wickedness. Because there's no, it's no in between. It's either wickedness or righteousness. All right. And which one are you going to keep your body up under? Okay. So, um, yeah, that's basically uh, all I had. Lord willing, I will. I, ho I hope this video was edifying for you brothers out there. Um, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's all I had. So with that, I want to give all praise and glory to you. How about Shem Yashah, by Shem Kakodash, the one to the elders and apostles of great millstone. And peace and to you brothers out there pushing his truth wholeheartedly and sincerely on full of the gospel. Until next time, shalom.